It's spirit boosting time. Spirit boosting time. Spirit boosting time. Spirit boosting time. Hey, y'all. It's Miss Janita, 75% better, but not strong enough to come on here and do no work. In other words, go from channel to channel, just supporting everybody. Ain't got no strength for that. Got a frog in my throat, but I'm so much better than what I was. Just coming through, sharing my little kitchen, dining, pantry area. Loving it all. Rusted cabinets. <laughs> you say rustic when they looking kind of rough. Yeah, I got to, um, when I am feeling better, better, I got to organize my shelf straight back there this right here this part right here that's the coffee bar and it's a mess i gotta take all the fall stuff off the coffee bar and um this counter i got all my little mixer and i got a little shelf on this counter so it's stacked coffee bar gotta be rearranged so i can fix stuff on it you can see my shelf back there. It is a hot mess. Stuff is disorganized because I've been looking for stuff because I don't know. I got unorganized. I'm still, like I tell y'all, still decluttering, still uh, organizing, still um, what do you call it? Re, re, um, Re, um, revolving stuff around on the shelf. Like this is, this shelf here got all my little seasonings on it. Well, some of them. And my, uh, some oil. It's just a variety shelf. This one right here. And on that counter over there, got pots and pans. This next is so, y'all know my kitchen little. But I'm making the mess, best, <laughs> the mess. That could be possibly true, too. I'm making the best of it because I'm buying all these little shells and things to help, you know, put stuff on. Yeah, rusty cabinets when they look rough. And Karen, see my little signs I put on this corner. Spirit boosters, welcome. Soul food menu. Grocery prepper in the bottom will say support um, kitchen gadgets or someone. <laughs> yep. My strength. I need all my strength in order to clean all this stuff. But um, let me see if I turn this way. But it's cozy. I had it too close. I'm cozy in my kitchen, in my chef kitchen, where I'm creating dishes. My husband, he loved my apple pie, almost like mama recipe. <laughs> but yeah, I am. I wonder if I go live. Hold on, y'all. Well. My strength ain't what it is. I'm doing what I can do. Refrigerator coming on. I'm about to um go lay back down. Dryer broke down. And uh well it's fixed now. Um I don't know why things want to break down when you don't feel well. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm making the most of my little tiny space by just purchasing little shells that help me organize and find stuff, basically. Rustic drawers and all for you naysayers that like to talk about folks. Um, belongings and how they live in the hell with you. Oh, if I got time for that, come over here and appreciate the um, sharing that the channel is providing. And you see what's going on. My little corner. <laughs> My little corner of products. I've been seeing the prepper channels talking about, oh, they about to shut stuff down. Oh, you better get out there and get some food. Oh, look at all these empty shelves. But they, most of them don't fail to mention the reason why a lot of shelves are empty is because people stocked up because of the winter storm. It's mostly because of things that are going to be taking place that you might not be able to get out and get to the store. So a lot of people just stock up on stuff. Some preppers seem like they want to put the fear in you, the fear of God in you, and make you believe it's because of something else. When really, in reality, it's just because of a bad storm coming. Now, some folks, they talk about war, you better get this, you better get that. But how long have they been warning folks about getting this and getting that? Or every day on their channel, they make a video, they talk about this about to happen, that about to happen. But hey, that's in your area where you sharing all this stuff. You, They fail to realize that folks do got sense enough to think, well, hell, I'm not in your state. I'm over here and everything is fine. A lot of things aren't happening as you are describing. You should basically just tell folks that this is happening in my state. This is what's going on. And if you live over here, this is what you need to do. This ain't no universal thing. <laughs> you know, this is only happening in my area where the shelves are empty. Like I say, most things are because, hey, folks are scared of running out of stuff because of a storm they can't get out. They are unable to get out. And they don't want to be left without this and other, so they stock up on it the best they can because everybody ain't got no bunch of money. We run out and get a bunch of stuff. Now, I hear they've been giving out these additional food stamps, which is a great blessing for folks uh, that, you know, you help, help them to uh, keep up with the food and all that because food, yeah, everybody know everything is more expensive. Yeah, so yeah, Miss Janita, my kids help me by telling me, use this mama, use that, take that, do this, and sure enough, it did work. I even got me a humidifier. I, I, I believe in me some Vicks Vapor Rub now. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. I slather that stuff all around my throat. Wear it like a fur, like a, like, like a dang scarf that day, Vicks Vapor Rub. I put that stuff on my throat, around my nostril. That helped a lot, that Vicks Vapor Rub. And I know, sure, a lot of y'all know that children, medicines and all that stuff, is out because a lot of these kids getting sick and I don't know why they want to act like stuff is over when stuff ain't over. Things still going on. Each and everybody on, you better do use your common sense or any kind of sense and know. Like, shoot, I didn't think I didn't get sick but with nothing for a long time. Now they got this new stuff out here, and I, it finally got me, and it's taking me a long time to shake this mess off. But like I said, I'm 75% better because I was down for the count. I done got back up on several occasions. <laughs> well, 
well. I'm, I'm blessed and I'm glad that uh, prayer saved me through and all the remedies and stuff that I've been over here practicing and doing to get better are working and I appreciate it for my children helping me get through this horrible, terrible virus. Yep. And anybody else suffering with this, I pray you get better also. Because a lot of folks are deceased behind this stuff. They got the RSV, they got the strep throat, they got the cold, the flu, you know, the COVID, all that old stuff. All this stuff going around. Then they say, you know, we in winter now. It's winter. And and folks have blizzards and stuff. I'm out here over here growing sunflowers on my balcony. <laughs> Can you believe it? Because you know out here in Southern California, we had a lot of rain. Of rain, a bit of rain. Supposed to be getting some more, but it's not bad. Like in some areas, folks dying in that cold weather. And uh, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm happy to be able to speak and talk because a few days ago this throat couldn't handle it it's like it's not 100 percent. i am that's why i'm about to stop because you know i rest myself rest my body and uh continue to do what little i do to get my little space like i share y'all my little space this is my space where I got stuff stacked up here. See my little white shell? You see that shell? And, uh, yeah. I got my kitchen in the way. I like it cozy. Cozy, cozy, cozy. And my little signs. I ain't worried about cleaning. Cause like I say, I gotta get well. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, I'm out. Stay blessed, stay well. Be careful out there. You believe in the preppers? Pay attention to your area, not their area. Pray for, they, for them, but well, do what the heck you want. Can't be telling folks what to do. That's one thing I remember. Stop telling folks what to do. Just share stuff, and if I got some that's favorable, I'll share it like that. But I'm just coming through. Bye. It's spirit boosting time. Spirit.